What you really want to do on a great big touring bike like the Indian Springfield Dark Horse is of course tour. We wasted no time at all getting our review bike out for some extended road tripping. Our first weekend with it we took it on a 450 mile round trip to the beautiful town of Vernal, Utah. The very next week we struck out on a 1600 mile loop through Idaho, Washington and Oregon to see how it did when we really stretched its legs. We'll tell you all about how the Springfield Dark Horse handled that first 2,000 mile week. But first, you know, we gotta roll that intro. Indian summer continues and we're loving it. Here's some footage from our trips. Keep in mind our demo bike has the following genuine Indian upgrades. Thunderstroke Stage 1 Slip on Exhaust, Thunderstroke Stage 1 Performance Intake, Front Fork Driving Lights, and 16 inch 8 hanger handlebar kit. See Total Motorcycle Web, an Indian Summer Episode 9 First Ride and Review for more info. The 16 inch 8 hanger bars are an upgrade from the standard 12 inch. The height of the grips put my hand level with my shoulders providing me with excellent riding posture. I was excited to see how the bars performed for me after long days of riding. Our longest one day stretch totaled eight hours in the saddle and I was really impressed with how I felt about the positioning. After the learning curve, realizing I didn't need to hold on near as tight as I was, my arms and hands were relaxed and I didn't get tired. At the end of the day, my back didn't hurt as the height of the bars and positioning of the saddle insisted on my body maintaining appropriate posture even when leaning tight into the curves. I was up and ready early the next morning, looking forward to another day of riding. Although the Indian slammed hard cases were large enough to carry all my necessaries for a two night road trip, they are not large enough to accommodate a full face helmet. Not a huge deal to me because I'm always wearing my helmet and I don't mind taking it into restaurants with me. If I was carrying a spare helmet for a sometimes passenger though, they wouldn't accommodate my needs. Here's my before and after thoughts about side cases. Super impressed with the remote lock feature and are they waterproof? You'll see. So we're going to take the bikes out for a weekend trip. Just wanted to show you how much stuff will fit in the Springfield saddlebag. So I've got a key fob here. I'm just going to unlock my saddlebags. Push this button and pull it open. And the same with the other side. Lots of room in there. Not sure I could get a full face helmet in there, but I've got room for all my bags and stuff. So. Got my overnight bag here, shampoo, sunscreen, blah, blah, blah. Here's all the luggage we need for the weekend. Swimsuits, clean socks. Here. Got some battery chargers. 
and cables in case we need to charge our phones on the trip. We're in the hotel. And then my rain gear here. In case we run into some bad weather. Smells like rain gear. Okay, got lots of room left still. I'll take an extra vest. And then there's still plenty of room in there in case we decide to buy some souvenirs for the kids on our way. And we're ready to go. What's awesome about these saddlebags is they close and they lock and when you get to the restaurant you can and don't have to worry about anybody getting into our stuff. The one thing is because they're affixed to the bike you need to put your stuff in bags so you can grab it easily to take um, into the hotel instead of detaching the whole bag. I'm pretty excited to go. We're going to have a good time. Okay, so we just got home from day two of our little road trip. Lovely weather out there. It's been raining most of the day. We got a good downpour on the last hundred miles of the trip. Our trip timer says we went about 450 miles in two days, so half of that was today. Springfield, ready for a wash as soon as the weather cleans, as soon as the weather improves. And take on very many bugs, but he's a dirty boy. What I mostly wanted to show you was how did our hard cases do in the downpour? I've got a stack of dry paper towels here. My, unlocked it with my handy switch. Okay, here's my first holster. It's completely dry. Here's our laundry. My rain gear that I didn't stop and put on. By the time I decided I wanted to put on my rain gear, I was already wet. Let's see here. Dry. Bottom, totally dry. Excellent. The other side. A little close to my car. Water we brought with us. The Indian vest. Really dry. My bag of unworn clothes. During COVID, it didn't occur to us, but no swimming pools. So we took our suities. For no reason at all. Overnight bags all dry. Yeah, no water on my paper towel either. Isn't that the coolest? Huh. 
The cruise control made me feel absolutely spoiled. It was easy to operate. The controls are located in an easy to reach position near the right side grip and the console displays an indicator light that stays on once you've turned on the cruise. It has a resume function just like the settings in newer motor vehicles. The seat was just the right thickness as it didn't feel flattened out after many miles. The ridge at the back does a great job of keeping my rear from sliding backwards making me feel super capable in accelerating. The leather on the seat is perforated, so it didn't feel hot through my black Kevlar pants even after the bike was parked in direct sunlight for lunch breaks and etc. The Indian headrest floorboards are large enough to move my feet both forwards and back to maintain leg comfort on our long trip. There was enough width so I could stretch out my knees a little or move my feet closer to tuck in during severe wind blasts on the freeway and in rainy riding conditions. There are two Indian upgrades not installed on our demo bike that would have certainly been useful during our trips. A polycarbonate windshield and heated grips. Our 2020 Indian Springfield Dark Horse is turning heads and we're having a great time on it. Be sure to watch for upcoming episodes of Indian Summer here at Total Motorcycle. Please like, leave a comment, and if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and ring that bell.